calls. <laughs> It was crazy. No, it wasn't too bad. You know, we struggled a little bit with the balance of the car. Um, it's been a little hard for us to, to really get our hands fully on, on the setup of the car, but the pace was better. We felt, you know, our pace, at least compared with the 10 cars, the other Acura, we felt really strong. Um, we, you know, overall our race pace was good. We were close, you know, we made a mistake there with the last driver change, and I think we had a shot at the win there. Honestly, when we came to the pitch, I think, I think we're going to win this. And when we had that bad driver change, I was like, no, we finished third. Um, they do, they do, you know what I mean? It, there's, it's, it's bigger thing with, that you miss a little bit is how extreme the bumps are. You know, when, when, when you're driven the real racetrack and you understand how you need to respect the bumps, once, if you can translate that same feeling or fear to the to the real simulator, to you know, to a simulator, then it becomes even more real. I think the tracks today are very accurate. I think the when you drive the cars, they be, I'm a big fan of all the cars in the simulators. They drive really, really close. Um, but the big thing for me when when you race a simulator is to respect it like you would respect a real car. If you take the fear out of the driving, then I don't think you wouldn't, I mean, you're gonna feel really fast, but you, you know, I mean, and you take the fear of hitting a wall, then there's no, you know what I mean? It's like, a little bit like in real life driving an oval. You know what I mean? An oval seems simple until you hit the wall. Then you go, oh my God. If you would, really genuinely drive the simulator to keep it off the wall and keep it off the grass and like hustling it as fast as you can without making the mistakes, then, then I think the experience would elevate. For the indie, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's kind of weird because we did kind of a day, half a day testing in it was, yeah, I mean, a day, but we did a bunch of aero testing in the morning, so it ended up being like half a day in, uh, in Laguna Seca. And at the end of the day, it wasn't too bad for my first day back, to be honest. I didn't feel too bad in the car. It was shocking in the morning. It was like genuinely shocking. I'm like, oh my God. But <laughs> that's what it is. If it was elements, I think if, if they could simulate like IndyCar, I mean, I think the road racing, you could base it same same physics as, as a F1 game, it would be very similar. But uh, the aero push and the instability of the cars in the draft, if you could simulate that well, would make it unbelievable. Because, you know, the oval, honestly, like, if you would understand how simple Indy is by yourself, and especially in race stream, you would go, oh, it's not that hard. But if you add the cars and you add the dirty air and you add all the tire wear and all that together, it's an animal. And to control that animal makes it very difficult. Um, sim racing is, is huge, you know what I mean? It's a huge part in our house, it's a huge part of our house, it's a huge part, you know what I mean? I'll give an example, like yesterday, my daughter spent maybe two hours on it. She just quietly doesn't tell anybody and you just hear the, 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 because we use, you know, in our earphones, she, you can just hear the paddles going along. And it's like she's going up and down on the gears and you walk by and she's playing along and she really enjoys it, but she doesn't tell anybody about it. It's like her little secret. Um, and one of the places she plays a lot is Red Bull Ring. Why she plays in Red Bull Ring? I have no idea, but she loves it. So funny enough, she's turning 15 this year and we were talking, you know, what do you want to do for your birthday? You know, Sebastian's going to be racing. Where is Sebastian racing? Red Bull Ring. Oh, I want to go there. I went, okay, because I train there a lot. So I want to see the racetrack. It, 
sim racing does a lot of things. One is you've never been to a place you really, it not gives you an idea. The accuracy today of the race of the race tracks normally are amazing. If you find a good model of the track or a good platform for, for it, then it makes a huge difference. Having good physics on the games makes a big difference because there's a lot of games you play and they're just artificial and doesn't feel good. If you get in a, in a good game with a good physics, then, then it makes a huge difference because then when you're driven race cars, then it feels much, much nicer. And, and there's so many tracks available that you can really get a kick out of it. I think it's gonna be either alongside karting or their own path completely. It's either gonna be like a shared path that you might have some crossover, people that play a lot and race cars, like you see today Lando and guys like that. Um, I think it's easier the crossover from real to simulator than from simulator to real for top level. Um, but I think it's gonna, it's a good way if you just don't have the means Karting is insane nowadays in Europe. You know what I mean? The amount of money you spend a year racing go-karts or even, you know, where my son is and everything is, is crazy. You know I mean? You could spend 20 grand and 25 grand and have the best simulator on the planet. And it's something that you probably could use for a few years and you could buy the best computer and everything. You know what I mean? And, and, and have everything the best and that will last, it's so advanced, the computers, that will last four or five years before you even have to think about changing it. And now that you could probably just go buy a couple of things and re-adapt it. You don't even need to change the computer. <laughs> so, it, 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 you know, the, the value where you stand and the investment is completely different. It's difficult because for me, when there's the damage is sometimes, I would say the damage is not accurate. You know what I mean? The, the damage is, is a percentage for the game. I think, you know, because it's one and, ones and zeros is, okay, you touch like here, you got damage. Well, you shouldn't have damage because the car, real cars are really strong there. And if you hit that, that, nothing matters. If you run into the back of somebody and you break the nose, you're going to take some down for yourself. But you, you know, and the game will show sometimes that you damage a suspension I'm going, whoa, to damage a suspension, I had to fly over the freaking car. And I didn't, you know what I mean? So getting the damage right, uh, I think would be a, a big thing out of it. Um, for me, one of the key things if you're getting simulators is make sure you get a system with a good brake pedal. That's, for me, when I grew up, that was the weakest thing because it was a thing based on travel, not on force. And if you can base it on force, then most of them nowadays do a little better, then you're the golden. And, and you can start with an entry level and spend 400 bucks, or I don't know what's an entry level nowadays, but not a lot of money. Or you can go completely bunkers and spend all the money you want and you can make a room out of us, you know, moving simulator and spare $300,000 and you're gonna have the experience of your life. Because, yeah, I mean, I've seen them and they're unbelievable. So, and people buy them and have them in their house. It's, it's you know, if you have the money to have great toys and great cars, this is a, a great way of going around it. Yes, I think it's amazing that, you know, when, when things get easy, it's very easy to lose the focus and that's where the mistake happens. When you think it's okay and you just, you start taking it too easy, it happens. Uh, I think it's good when they spend a lot of hours doing something. And you know, a kid, you know, I'll spend 30 minutes to an hour playing. My son will spend three to four hours playing. And they'll do races and races and races and they get together with these good groups of guys and here. You know, Sebastian's got this group of friends and, you know, Palau is there and, you know, I think Antonelli's there and they all run together and they do all these races. And so you have people from karting to IndyCar to F4 to everything and they do these races together. And, 
and and they spend the problem is they spend hours you know when when they talk about oh you know like the guys in mclaren ask me hey do you want to do uh you know the indycar esport race i'm like no you know i'm okay. i'll spend a bit of time but i ain't gonna spend you know a kid like palau will spend you know 10 hours he doesn't have a life doesn't have a wife doesn't have kids doesn't have anything so he gets up plays all day and gets all the buttons right on the pit stop on the strategy and they are, they're out of control. There's weeks where I don't play and there's weeks where I spend a lot of time. Uh, when we were doing, do, during the pandemic, uh, when I spend the most, I would spend maybe an hour a day. But I wouldn't, I would normally go do, you know, two or three runs, get out, get up, think about it, you know, do something else, come back and like for me it's really important to disconnect kind of look at from behind and reset because it's very easy to if if it goes in the wrong way if you get that ball rolling the wrong way it's very hard if you don't get out it's really hard to stop it and it just becomes a fiasco but funny enough like my son when we ran the indie you know with the art factor we ran indie he figured out a way how to go really quick around Indy. And I was going like, we're, I was flat and I was going three tenths a lap slower than him. He said, oh, no, no, do this, turn here, do this, uh, blah, blah. Uh, and it's funny because it's a game-based thing that it makes you go quicker, not a real life thing. But when you start figuring out things like that, then in the real car, you'll start figuring out new things as well to go quicker with time. So it's, I think that was a really cool thing. Indy. <laughs> Horses with horns. <laughs> Probably go for radio control planes. I don't know. A few years ago, I would have sent single-seater, uh, but the most of the single-seater feels like a closed cockpit. Honestly, you feel, I feel when I drove the Indy car, I feel in a closer cockpit than, than the sports car. <laughs> I would say Ralph. Um, Kimi was, was tough, but when Kimi, when, for me, when Kimi was cut, it was tough, I really struggled in the McLaren. It was a very difficult, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't my A game because I hated the car. You know what I mean? Like I was getting beat, but in a car that I couldn't drive. 